Hey everybody, so um, I owe you guys uh, an analysis on a few of these because um, what I like to do is I like to flash the picture up for everybody to see and then I like to wait for a day or so to let you guys absorb it because look this is what you guys asked for. You asked for high detail, well I have found a way to give you that high detail. I had no idea that these guys were painting stuff in such detail that I could actually overlay this stuff like I am. But all I had to do was just try it a couple of times and here's the great thing about it, okay? I'm not making this up. You can go and reproduce this yourself. All you have to do is find yourself these same pictures out there on the internet that I found uh, and then just slightly make them transparent as you move them over the original. Okay, so there's nothing about rocket science here. All it requires is that you have an open mind uh, in getting past your programming that a lot of you are still subject to. I know this is a lot to take in because it's really unexplainable. At least right now it is. And I'm working on trying to get the explanations here pretty soon. So let me just show you what I'm talking about here. First of all, it's really obvious right here that, okay, so this painting that he depicted with the clouds here, you can see that that is like a Fibonacci spiral, okay? Um, I'm already showing you that there is this pattern about Orion and the Orion Nebula all over the place. It goes past the churches, okay? So I knew this was the Orion Nebula. I needed to prove it. Well, I found a picture of, the, um, of Orion with its Fibonacci spiral. And as you can see right up here, this Fibonacci spiral at a distance, okay? The thing is that you gotta learn how to do is you gotta learn how to pay attention to the details. So what I'll be doing in some of these things is I break up little sections of it and I compare it to the same sections uh, at like what you're seeing down here, okay? But here's, what's, here's one way you can tell that this is definitely a match. Because when you take a look at this Fibonacci spiral, for example, and you look for the similar things like what I'm showing you down here, notice this, well, you'll find that they are in the same places on this picture as they are up here. For example, what I'm showing you right here is this part right here on the Fibonacci spiral. Well, that means that this would have to be located right here, right? And there it is, right here. Look for this little thing that looks like a bird. See that? Okay, and it's right over here. Same thing. And when I overlay that, you can see that it fits on there just perfectly. Okay? So that's one thing to look for. The next thing to look for is you see this larger part of the Fibonacci spiral, and you can see down here it looks like the head of something. Well, it's the same thing. It's located exactly where it should be as well. We have this little thing right here and we have this little thing right here. We have it right here and we have it right here. And that's what I'm showing you right down here. Now the reason I can put these overlays on here and what's kind of hard for some people to be able to see is I have to look for specific lines. For example, okay, you notice how this area right here is darker purple than the blue areas right here? Well, that's because this fits kind of like a diamond shape, and so does this right here. There's also something very interesting that some of you may or may not be able to see, but if you can tell that this little right here, this area right here is darker, and then it's lighter right here, it appears to be an eye in a way, okay? Which is the same thing as the eye that you're seeing right here. And you can see that the general outline of this thing follows the same pattern. Okay. So we're looking at the same thing. We're looking at the same cloud. And then we have this bright area right in the middle. So in the Orion Nebula, our Fibonacci spiral that goes around and the area in the bright spot, guess what? Imagine this. It's the Orion Nebula. Now here's the... And I'm going to go and do another analysis video here later, but um, there's some scientific questions that have to be answered because um, what they're showing us is they're showing us a representation of the Orion Nebula as it looks right now. Um, I'm not saying that the Orion Nebula would change that much. I mean, I have no idea. But you got to remember that whatever they, they were seeing in the Orion Nebula, they were seeing, according to conventional science, 
which I have a lot of questions about now, uh, they apparently were seeing what light was showing us 13 or 1400 years before 1660 when this was done, or 1679. The only thing they could see was they didn't even have a camera to take pictures. That means somebody would have had to have looked through the telescope and copied every little tiny detail because as you're seeing down here, okay, and what, you'll, what I'm asking you to do is take a look at the pictures, find something that you can key in on and carry throughout the whole picture. Uh, the easiest thing on this one so far would be to take a look at the actual Orion Nebula itself and that it fits in there. What you'll notice is you'll notice the general outline of this yellow area right here fits the Orion Nebula basically perfectly. Okay. One thing that you'll notice I found extremely interesting that I have some scientific questions about is that if you look at all these people here and all the details of them and you follow your eyes over and I don't know why but the preview let me just give you a better higher detail picture here. I don't like Windows Preview because it doesn't show the same level of detail I'm going to show you here. Okay, This is crazy right here. Okay, so look at this guy right here. Do you see him? Let me zoom in a little bit more for you. Uh, let's make this 150. Okay, here he is. You see this guy right here looking into uh, the light? Okay, now I want you to follow him over. Here he is again, right here. Let's follow him over again. Here he is. Right here. And we're going to follow him over to the last one. And here he is, and here he is right here. And this is where the scientific questions come up. Because you can see his shoulder and his body and his leg match the gases and dust that are in the Orion Nebula to such an, a high accurate degree. Um, and they're actually showing us what we're seeing today. So that means there's a very interesting thing about time we have going on here because uh, because these pictures are so exact there's no way you could make all this fall into place like this. What you'll notice is these artists, and, and this is the reason I believe these are visions of some sort, um, these artists start with a kind of a, a blurry picture which is the Orion Nebula and as you move, if you, if you key in on some of the key features here, let's zoom back out again, sometimes it helps to look at it from far away and sometimes it helps to key in on it real close. Uh, let's find another one for you here. Key in, okay, do you see how this yellow thing creates a crown? Okay, Follow that over and you'll see that you have the same thing right here, which is the tip of that crown. And you can see where it makes like a little W right here and you can follow that over and it goes all the way through. Okay. It only makes sense that if the larger picture is showing the whole Orion constellation and keying in on the bright area, which is the Orion Nebula, that the center bright spot would be the Orion Nebula. And what I'm showing you here is extremely high detail. Okay, you don't get this kind of... You have never seen this before in your entire life, folks. This is the first time you've ever seen, it, seen this kind of thing. Let me move to the next picture. Okay, you've seen this one. I don't know that this one requires much of an explanation. Uh, Obviously, you can tell there's a woman's face here. It's the same woman's face as it goes along. I've already done the analysis on this for you. I think this one's pretty obvious, so we're going to move to the next picture. The thing to key in on here, though, is Michelangelo is seeing the Orion Nebula. Okay, the last one I wanted to show you guys here was, and uh, J Dog's full, you owe me a, uh, an apology. Um, what I'm trying to show you here is not that the whole Orion Nebula matches this whole scene. I'm trying to show you that the trapezium area, which is the way I have this thing labeled down here, is matching this area. Now, if you want to know how I came up with this, okay, there's a common theme that's going on. They have been depicting Yahweh, God, everything. They've been depicting that thing as the center part of the Orion Nebula. So there's two things I keyed in on here. Number one, I keyed in on God, and number two, I keyed in on the yellow trapezium area that he happens to be floating in. Which, was a, which is a common scene we're seeing all over the place. The next thing I keyed in on to make sure that this was a match is I needed to find a clear outline of something. The easiest area to find that on, to me, 
was this area was his arm is the way the tra the way the trapezium curves. Let me just zoom in on for you a little bit. If you notice, the trapezium curves in like that, okay, on this side. And that's what you have to remember that when I show you this stuff, everything has to be where it is supposed to be, and it has to fit the lines. Once you do this for yourself, go find yourself a picture of this, and go find a high res a resolution of the Orion Nebula. Uh, once you key in on those one that one line that you have to match things up with, whatever you can see, once you key in on that and you match it up, you'll find that everything else falls into place. After that, it's just a matter of sectioning out the pictures and that's what I, that's what I'm trying to do for you guys so um, so that's what I keyed in on and what I want to show you here then is the detail that I just did for everybody uh, to show you how I came up with this stuff so here's the trapezium this is an altered version of the Orion Nebula right here and what I was trying to show you as you follow follow along it's this now there is a lot of detail in here right but you'll find that that detail is inside the Orion Nebula. So here's what I just here's what I keyed in on it first. This is the Orion Nebula. Notice the trapezium curves like this, and you have the same thing here. And if you follow it all the way through, you can see it's the same. The next thing I want to show you. Let's go back over here. This area right here that's darker is the same as her head. What I've done is down here. I'm showing you that. And you can see it follows the same outline. And this is overlaid, so that means that the chances of something like this happening are literally impossible. Okay. Uh, the next part I wanted to show you was the this large, looks like a dragon breathing fire right here. Well, I want you to take a look at his head. Okay. And what I've done is I've copied his head part right here. I want you to see it. Focus in on his eye right here. His eye, you're going to see that. This is it's part of the guy's side. You see that? This is the guy's side as he's laying down. And you can see that it's in the same place every time following the same lines. Notice how his head, notice how the whole body right here of the dragon follows the contour of his body all the way through. Okay? Now, the last one that I want to show you, for you guys that watch too much TV, that you can only see sexual stuff, um, I copied uh, this right here. This is what you're focusing in on. You remember her head right here? Okay, here's our head right here. So this section right here is what I've taken. So for those of you that watch too much V, just look at his ass, okay? And follow his ass to the left, and you'll notice that his ass is still right here, perfectly drawn as it is over here. Follow his heel here also. Notice his heel has kind of got a little bit of a red tint to it. You follow that through, you get the same thing right here. But this is the easiest thing to key in on right here. Okay. So um, here's the deal. I understand that um, some of you guys uh, can't see it or whatever, and that's fine. But what I ask you to do is I ask you to, because this is obvious, I mean, I don't think after sectioning this out, oh yeah, here's another one I wanted to show you. This one is basically this area right here. Okay. And as you can see, the guy's head, okay, you can start to see how he has his head and then his arm comes down and goes this way. You can see his head right here, his shoulder, his arm going down and his arm going that way. And if you follow that, just follow this part right here, all the way through, then you can see that that's the same person. So like I said, for those of you uh, who are having problems seeing it, that's fine. I ask you to go through and section these out before you pass judgment because this is obvious that it's there. This has nothing to do with an obsession of mine. I'm just showing you the facts. And I know this brought, I know this like destroys some of y'all's reality. Okay, But I ask that you open your minds up and realize there may be something actually pretty cool going on here. So y'all take care and I'll talk to you soon.